I'm Kat Edmondson. That's me. I was on a 40 city tour celebrating the release of my new record, Dreamers Do, when the pandemic struck. Tour was cut short. So now I'm performing from my living room every Sunday night, singing my songs and your requests. It's the Cat Edmondson Show. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Cat Edmondson Show. It's July 26, 7 p.m., 7.04. We're live from upstate New York, and it's great to see you. It might be 6 o'clock where you are, 5 o'clock or 4 o'clock. Where are you writing in from? I'm so glad you're here. Hi, John McClure. Hi, Carlos Aranaga. Carlos is, is writing in from Maryland. Hi, Isabel Gonzalo. If I remember correctly, Isabel's writing in from, is it Mexico, Isabel? Or, no, wherever you're writing in from, I think it's the morning hour. So where is that? Uh, hi, Roger from Twitch. I'm delighted that you're here. I'm new to Twitch. We're, we're airing the show tonight from Twitch. If you don't know what that is, you're not young enough or hip enough. YouTube, Twitter, there's something called Periscope um, that's affiliated with Twitter and Facebook. Anything else? That's it so far. Anyway, that's a step up from just the Facebook streams that we were doing for the majority of the shows. Hit it, Aaron. All I do is dream of you the whole night through. With the dawn, I still go on dreaming of you. Your every thought, your everything, your every song I ever sing. Summer, winter, autumn. And spring, and were there more than 24 hours a day? They'd be spent in sweet content, dreaming away. The skies are gray, the skies are blue, morning, noon, and nighttime too. All I do the whole day through is dream of you. This is Roy Dunlap on organ. Hi, Laura Sweet, Thomas and Lester, Miguel, hi. Kimberly McElroy, McCollum. Brian, Tony. Joel. Herb. Masiej. I don't know if I said that right. Masiej Conrad Buko. And were there more than 24 hours a day? They'd be spent in sweet content, dreaming away. The skies are gray, the skies are blue. Morning, noon, and nighttime too. All I do the whole day through is dream of you. Kind of missed that one. Hi, Amy, Joe, Aleo. Aleo, Aleo. Hi, David Paul. Katie Doral. All I do. Arnie Points. David Woodward. John Nicholson. Stephen Kluber. Stephen Kluber, my old roommate. Kevin Walter. David Hartley. Scott West, Harold Brown, Randall Stewart, Nick Faddis. Wow, a lot of people writing in.
Colleen Bateman, Heather Cummings, David Rosen, John Hughes. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Thanks for coming. Nick Faddis, did I say you? It's good to see you all. It's great to see you all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making this show possible every week. I'm here with Aaron Thurston, our producer, who's handling all of the technical stuff and wish you didn't know that. And it's a good day. Oh, you know, we meant to turn the air conditioning off and it's blowing. So what can I tell you about this week? As most of you know who've been watching the show, we just moved to upstate New York from Brooklyn, where I lived for 10 years. And so this has been a big change. And, and there's been a lot. Aaron and I gave ourselves three weeks off after Father's Day uh, to get moved out of Brooklyn and moved into our new home. And I think we were a little bit optimistic a little too ambitious about thinking that we'd be completely settled in after three weeks. Can you tell me about that? Were we just crazy? I and mean, does everybody know that it takes a really long time to move and get settled in? Not to mention the place that we're at is this wonderful big space, big, wide, open space. And there's, there's not, it's an open floor plan, so they're not really rooms. And therefore, there, there isn't a lot of there aren't really many closets or shelves or anything like that. So we're having to build those things ourselves. Anyway, yeah, Aaron said, where do we move to, a garage? No, we live in a loft. So we're living out our, our New York City dreams in upstate New York. But when we look out the windows, it's, it's more pastoral than what we had imagined in our New York City dreams. Where does that take us? Dreaming. This next song was on my, it, it just came out uh, earlier this year on my new album, Dreamers Do. Aaron and I produced that record together. This song is from Pinocchio. And Yukuba Sissoko is playing Cora here. And when I first moved to New York, when I would get off the subways, there would be buskers playing music. And I loved it. And oftentimes, they were playing instruments that I wasn't familiar with. Of course, there's the guitar and keyboard and whatnot. But one day, I stepped off of a subway, and I heard somebody playing a Cora, but I didn't know what it was. And it sounded so good. It sounded heavenly to me. So I went home, and I looked it up. And I found out about more Cora players. And somehow, when we were putting together ideas of how to approach this song, it finally seemed like the perfect time to incorporate Cora to incorporate Yakuba. When you wish upon a star Makes no difference who you are Anything your heart desires Will come to you If your heart is in your dreams No request is too extreme When you wish upon a star Your dreams come true Wee 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 When we were in the studio Wee I started singing I didn't really know why. I didn't even plan it, but we needed something in the spaces.
Your heart is in your dreams. No request is too extreme. When you wish upon a star, as dreamers do. Fate is kind. She brings to those who love the sweet fulfillment of their secret longing. We. Got bumped out of the blue. Fate steps in and sees you through. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. Dreams come true. <laughs> Dreams come true. Woo! Deeper sing on tabla. Dreamers do. Dreamers do. Dreamers do. Fernando Lodero recorded that. Al Schmidt mixed it. Rob Schwimmer played on it. He played these amazing keyboards on it. And, and something called a continuum, uh, which is very hard to explain. Would you try, Aaron, to explain a continuum? It looks like a scuba suit inside a keyboard case, and, and there aren't any notes to press down. Um, so Rob, the player, who you might have seen in an earlier episode of the, uh, the Cat Edmondson show when we did, um, uh, what is the song? The Boy Next Door, A Socially Distant Romance. Rob was the the player on that. And so what he was playing, he plays all kinds of unusual instruments. He's very confident in doing so, but it's, it's like he's manipulating like notes that aren't there. He's also a very famous theremin player. And if you know the theremin, you know that he's just, he's playing sound waves in the air. He's, there's like a rod and he plays up and down around this rod and like in the air. And and he, he, like, he can play, you know, a, a melody um, pres with precision. A theremin is something that you would hear on, um, like, Beach Boys. Ooh -wee -ooh. I think that was a theremin, or, or was that, like, did everyone think it was, and then it, it turned out it wasn't? Anyway, uh, that's, that's the kind of sound that a theremin makes. And, and Rob played theremin on Dreamers Do. Incidentally, if you haven't heard our new record, Dreamers Do, I would love for you to hear it. It's, it's the first full concept record that I've ever made in that uh, I, I developed a concept for it before we began, and then 
And then we built the record around the concept. And it starts uh, at, at, as it, 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 it takes place over a single night. And it starts at, at the onset of going to sleep. And it takes you through an entire night. And you, and you can hear the nocturnal experience uh, from beginning to end when, when the dawn breaks. And, uh, and that was our goal. And it, and, and it worked, apparently. That's, that's the experience that people have said that they have had when they listened to it. So we, we were really satisfied after making that and that we had achieved that goal. Hi, Brandon Herzog. Hi, Mark Sidney, Beth Naji, Lynn S Sandeman. It's good to see you again, Lynn. Ted Miller. Hi, everybody. Hi, D. Kosaba. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, France. Rajuta, I'm good. How are you? What do we got next? Well, we don't have a set list, do we? I had this song on my mind, and I wanted to sing it this week. This is, this is Roy Dunlap accompanying me on Why Try to Change Me Now, written by Cy Coleman. I've never recorded this, but I love this. There's a great clip. I think you can find it on YouTube of Cy Coleman performing this at a party in the 19, early 1960s, I think, if not the late 50s. And, and the host of the party, the host, you know, it's, it's film, so it's all kind of staged. But there are all these beautiful women standing around the piano, and Cy Coleman's in a tux, and he's, he's playing. And the host says, you know, Cy Coleman plays that new song. Oh, no, that's actually, I'm, I'm conflating. Hi, Nancy DeForest. Hi, Nerissa Martinez. My dear friend Nerissa is watching. Natalie Norris. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Renee. Hi, Renee. I'm glad. What was I saying? Oh, anyway, Cy Coleman was writing music for Frank Sinatra at the time. He wrote uh, Witchcraft that he ended up singing at that party as well. And the host said, Cy Coleman, if you don't sing that new song that you've written for Frank Sinatra, we're not going to let you have your drink. Anyway, it was different times. This is Why Try to Change Me Now by Cy Coleman. sentimental so I walk in the rain I've got some habits even I can't explain I could start for the corner and turn up in Spain why try to change me now I sit and daydream, I've got daydreams galore Cigarette ashes, there they go on the floor Go away weekends, leave my keys in the door But why try to change me now? Why can't I be more conventional? People stop. People stare. So I try. But that's not for me. Because I can't see my kind of crazy world. Go passing me by So let people wonder Let them 
laugh, let them frown. You know I love you till the moon's upside down. Don't you remember I was always your clown? Why try to change me now? Why try to change me now? I love that song. When I started singing Cy Coleman songs, I thought, um, I thought I, I, I need to be able to convey that, that, that sort of sentiment that he does, that kind of, well, how do you describe that? It's like, um, it's kind of pitiful, but, but, um, but don't feel sorry for me, kind of. There's a integrity about it, a, a pride, and a sense of humor, and a slight self-deprecation, uh, but, a, but a sorrow there. Anyway, he's such a wonderful writer, and, and he wrote the lyrics and the music. Um, and that's, that wasn't always common uh, during that time. That reminds me, my mom requested this song uh, last weekend. After the show, she and I had a call, and she requested this song. This was written by Hoagy Carmichael, and so often it is left out who wrote the lyrics. But Mitchell Parrish wrote the lyrics, and the song wouldn't be the song. Uh, that we all know and love without the lyrics, I think. I mean, it's a, it's a stunning tune um, to, of course, credit Hoagie. But uh, the, the song, the, the, the lyric writer has to be credited. Mitchell Parrish. Uh, I'm just going to sing this a cappella. And now the purple dusk of twilight time steals across the meadow of my heart. High up in the sky, the little stars climb, always reminding me that we're apart. This is my great-grandmother's favorite song, apparently. Or maybe it was my great-great-grandmother's favorite song. Mom, if you're tuned in, tell me. You wandered down the lane and far away, leaving me a song that will not die. Love is now the stardust of yesterday. The music of the years gone by. Sometimes I wonder why I spend the lonely night streaming of a song, the melody haunts my reverie, and I am once again with you. When our love was new And each kiss an inspiration But that was long ago Now my consolation Is in the stardust of a song the east side of garden wall where stars are 
upright you are in my heart. Well, I got so into what I was singing that I forgot the words. The nightingale tells his fairy tale of paradise where roses grew. Though all I dream in vain. In my heart it will remain. My stardust melody. The memory of love's refrain. Do you hear music in your head the way I do? I hear it playing so readily and so fluidly. Sometimes I have a soundtrack to my life. And sometimes I wish that I could just turn up the volume so everyone else could hear. But that's ultimately what moved me to start writing music is because I started hearing music in my head that I had never heard before. And, and I realized at that point that I was writing songs. Some songs are very personal to me. And, and I write them because maybe I need to, to process something that I'm going through. And, uh, and when that happens, it, it can be challenging to write the song. It can be painful. But sometimes songs just make themselves known to me, that they need to be written, and, and I don't know why I'm writing it. I don't even know why, how the subject matter pertains to me, except that I can relate to it as an empathetic person. This next song I wrote, not out of personal experience, but just because the song needed to be written. I don't know how else to put that. Do you have some kind of thing that you do that's like that, that just sort of chooses you? I'd love to know. This is I'd Be a Fool. How do you put the past away? How does the night forget about the day? So many things I want to say, but how do I get through? If you ever still think of me, if time has not erased my memory, would you accept an apology so long overdue? I'd be a fool if for one second I thought you had been untrue. Then I told you we were through and I no longer wanted you. I'd be a fool if I decided that what I needed to do was to go and hurt you too that would be cruel, that would be cruel. and if you begged me not to go and told me that you loved me so I would be foolish not to turn around run right back to you and in the end if I pretended I could love somebody new cause 
Cause they reminded me of you I'd be a fool And if you begged me not to go And told me that you loved me so I would be foolish not to turn around And run right back to you Some of the guys from the band singing. It's Matt Ray singing, Matt Munisteri singing and playing guitar, and Bob Hart on bass. Thank you all for buying your ticket to tonight's show. The ticket uh, is accessible. You can purchase purchase it through cat.live. You can also see past episodes of the Cat Edmondson Show via cat.live and some other things that we've put up there. Uh, but your virtual ticket helps us keep this show going every week. So thank you for your support, and it's so good to be with you. I think I've lost... There you are. Hi, Kenneth Kavit. I'm checking in to see what you all are saying, and... Joanna Cordozo, Tracy Heald, Paul McDonald. Hi from Australia. Well, hello. Hi, Leah from Colorado. Cynthia from the Philippines. Isn't this wonderful? It's pretty amazing that we can all be here together. Hi, Helene. Sandy DeStefano, Bradley. Annie Holyfield. Hi, Catherine. Wanted to let you know that you're my daughter's favorite singer, and she thinks it's really cool that we were friends in high school. Yes. Annie Holyfield, do you remember when we were in high school, I wrote you a song? I remember that song, I think. I might have to sub... Hi, Matt Ray. I might have to sub some of the... Yeah. I might have to sub some of the words to this because I'm, I'm remembering it after many years. Hi, Francis from Australia. This is a song that I wrote for my friend Annie Holyfield in high school. Of course, I couldn't play music then, and I didn't know anybody that, that could transcribe what I was singing. So here goes my a cappella version of, I was trying to write in the style of Joni Mitchell. All in good faith and good time, a good song will come along. The right song for me and done. But how do you write the right song without writing something wrong? Just to have something right, man. Oh, but Annie likes to talk. We both sit and talk. Talk of the we all in the room. We sit out on her steps. She smokes a cigarette. And she walks up to her colorful room And she lays in her bed And let Ben sing her soul fast asleep Ben is Ben Harper Oh, she'll go up to the mountains For to find her place called home And she did, she moved to Colorado and she'll play her da -na -na -na, just to know she's not tape recorder, just to know she's not alone. In her eyes, she sees mermaids living life swimmingly. She sees good looking boys that don't leave her. They play their guitars in hopes to receive her, singing sweet, sweet Annie. I love you, come down from your tower and I'll adore you. Oh, Annie, wake up, 
up and listen to the good song that I wrote for you. In good faith, in good time, a good song did come along, the right song for he and none. Oh, but how do you write the right song without writing something wrong just to have something rhyme? Ooh, I guess you have to wait, try not to concentrate, and da 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 like Annie does. And da 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 and da 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 We could all be more like Annie is and go up to our colorful rooms and lay down our heads and let Ben sing our souls fast asleep. Thank you for indulging me on that one, everybody. Love you, Annie Holyfield. Love you. All right. Oh, thank you, Isabel Gonzalo. She says that's a lovely song. So Matt Ray wrote in to say hello. And since he's watching, I'd like to do a song where Matt Ray plays. This is one that I wrote called A Voice. And uh, we record. Matt and I recorded this in uh, the studio at... Um, Atomic Sound in Brooklyn, and we recorded it in the same room together because we, I wanted to, to be with Matt in the room. We have a wonderful friendship and a wonderful chemistry, and, and I knew that it would affect the performance, that we weren't isolated. So <clears throat> we got in the same room together, and he was playing beautifully and, and emotionally and just, you know, exactly as I'd hoped he would play on this song and and I sang this song once and I could barely get through it I felt very feeble singing this song because as I wrote it I uh I I was lacking in, in confidence I had all of this negative self-talk going on for quite a while and and I couldn't get out of it it was like this horrible tape that kept playing and and I, and I didn't have perspective, and I wrote this song, and I, and I felt very weak and vulnerable um, singing it. And there we were in the studio, and so I sang it one time, and then I said, I, you know, you know we, we got the first olive out of the jar. Let's, let's do it again. But thereafter, every take we did, I, I started crying, and I couldn't get through the song. And we even went in the next day and recorded for hours, and we went back to see what could be done because I just couldn't get through the song. And we listened to the first take, and we were like, oh, well, that sounds good. Let's just do that. So that the first take is what ended up being on the record on Old Fashioned Gal. I love to you, Matt, for sticking through me, for sticking by me, <laughs> sticking by me through that. Numbers and photographs Do not a person make I'm more than what a page Can say of me My identity Is not in my history all of the best of me is in my dreams and if i had a voice i would sing and i'd be satisfied i'd sing away the pain inside I'm not 
inside the model type Most clothes don't fit me right Maybe I don't fit in With anything But if I had a voice I would sing And I'd be satisfied I'd sing away the pain Inside of me I've walked along this path alone I've seen my share of Cello arrangement was written by Aaron Thurston. Hi, Yadira. Hi, Malcolm. Oh, thank you, Lester. Hi, Mark. You know, sometimes... Hi. Oh. Oh, I think we have a, a troll on board. A troll named Joe. Welcome, Joe. Philip, Benjamin, Betchy. Thanks, Matt. Sometimes we're called to do things that aren't comfortable and, and feel incredibly challenging the whole time. And we question why why we would do them. And there's so much resistance. And sometimes it's not for us to know why, I guess. But that's, that was my experience in writing and recording and even releasing a voice. I just, I didn't even want to share it. And then having to go and sing it every night in the show because people were requesting it at that point. It was painful even then, and, and I'm just starting to get over it. I'm just starting to understand what that song means to me and, and appreciate what it might mean to other people. Thank you all for your feedback all the time and for your requests. OK. Hi, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown is watching from Facebook. Sven Gali <laughs> is watching from Twitch. Your phrasing reminds me of Laura Anderson. Thank you. She's very cool. So I'd written down a few other songs that I wanted to do. This is another song I wrote. 
um, it is on the album Old Fashioned Gal. I wrote this song. I had so much fun writing it. And as I wrote it, I was thinking of my godmother, who I lovingly referred to as Lala, and still do, although she's passed away now. And Lala um, would play the organ. She was a tiny woman and um, cute as a button. She wore these little Papagallo shoes, and she would sit on phone books on the, on the bench in front of the organ and play this big old thing. And she could swing. Man, she could swing. And then when, they, when you'd hear, like, you know, big band recording or any kind of swing recording, she would tap her little papagallos. And she and my mom taught me about swing and music because they never hesitated when the music felt good to move. And I'm so grateful to them. My family members were really fun. My uncle loves to dance, and he taught me very early on about the joy of just going with, with, the, with, with the music. Don't hold back. And he, he showed me how cool it was when you don't hold back. And my cousin has a larger-than-life personality, and he loves to sing and, and dance and act. And, and so we're all that kind of a bunch. And no, we don't really get together that often. Those are some fond memories that I have of, of us all expressing ourselves in that very joyful way. So I digress. I, write this, I wrote this song uh, with Lala in mind. And um, this is Canoe. This is also Matt Ray on piano. On such a night in June Beneath the silver moon They shared a boat for two Carnoon Across a glassy lake Their little boat did skate And little sound they made at all And for a little atmosphere The cricket serenade there And a few indulging mosquitoes <laughs> Got quite inebriated They paddled quietly Under a canopy where no one else could say a thing. Hit it now. Hit it, crickets and bullfrogs. Those are real, by the way. We recorded those in the backyard. As they started to express their mutual attraction Many local residents Were having a reaction Yes, I love fluid fireflies What might in their cabooses And concerted Katie did Buzzing like a zoo they paddled quietly under a canopy where no one else could see our thing. But on but on on such a night in June, beneath the silver moon, they shared a boat for tea. swinging on the drums. So swangy, Matt Forbes. All right. Elle says she's going to get it off the apple. 
Next weekend, Aaron and I will be away. We're going to be performing at a festival in Washington, Connecticut with the dance company Palabolus. It's the Five Senses Festival, Palabolus' annual festival, and um, we're so excited about doing this. It's a socially distant festival, and it, it's, it, it's going to be safari style, actually, where people will be coming through in their cars and observing us from their cars and far away at, at distances. And uh, Palabolus has created this, this beautiful uh, evening in which I get to play a part, really. It's, it's not a traditional festival like you imagine a music festival. Uh, we're all playing a role in this uh, journey that one goes on from beginning to end uh, through the festival. And I'm so excited about being a part of it. And uh, so we'll be there next Sunday performing. And Aaron and I aren't sure exactly how or if we're, we're going to be able to air something while we're performing. Um, it certainly won't be like the shows that, that you normally tune in to if, if we're able to make it happen. Uh, but if we're able to do it and we're, and we're going to try and find a way, please stay tuned this week and we'll keep you posted and let you know um, what to look for and where. Uh, so hopefully we can have something uh, happening this time next Sunday. And if you want to um, support Palabolus, um, I, I meant to tell you that this, the, the festival is sold out. Um, that's important, right? Um, it's the Five Senses Festival. We'll also uh, be with Stuart Bogey, Alita Moses, and Rob Capolo, wonderful musicians uh, that are going to be a part of the festival. And uh, if you haven't checked out Palabolus, uh, you're in for a real treat. So um, go to palabolus.com, and, um, and you can still uh, support us at the festival, um, but unfortunately, uh, it's, it's sold out. Uh, there, there may be some things that we're able to capture and share, so please st stay tuned about that um, after next weekend. Uh, and what else did I want to tell you? Um, well, I think that was it. I think, I think that was all that was on my agenda. I just wanted to tell you thank you for, for being here with me. Um, I'm so grateful to, to spend this time with you every weekend. And, and Aaron is grateful, too. He's smiling and nodding his head. Alan. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I love that song, but I'm going to close with a different one. And um, if you want to, you can check out that song in last week's episode. Uh, you're writing in from YouTube, and we have that up on YouTube. And I, and I hope you'll watch. Um, I want to dedicate this last song uh, Wait. Hold on. I want to dedicate this last song to John Lewis. Um, David Cress wrote in and requested this in memory of him, and I, I love the idea so much. So thank you, David. I think, I think it's a lovely way to close out the night. I only know one of the verses, so I'm going to read the others. And so it looked a little more stylish than me reading a piece of paper. I put it in this book. Please um, feel free to sing along. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I found was blind, but now I see. 
'Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed through many dangers toils and snares I have The Lord has promised good to me. His word, my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be. As long as life endures, when we've been there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun. days to sing God's praise than when we first begun amazing grace. Stay tuned. We have a segment coming up. Good night, everybody. Beautiful you In the COVID fashion Beautiful you Gonna make a splash in protective gear For the entire year How they'll cheer Beautiful wares for every occasion, help you beware And avoid contagion, don't let it through Take care of beautiful you There will be days in the sun and days in the rain You get through them all, you'll see You've got those lips that are meant to be kissed But not until we're virus free a beautiful you is like a great work of art. You're stylish, you're chic, and you also are smart. Before you binge watch Tiger King in those same old pajamas, consider a more festive look. Add your own dash of drama. Find that you've been missing that regular vitamin D. A weekend in these shorties will bring back freckles to those knees. While tending to the azaleas, this bucket hat will never fail ya. While reading Agatha Christie, you're dying to solve the mystery. Before Poirot's grey cells do it for ya, Try employing 
your own fedora. Expecting to be poolside in pseudo-modesty? This cover-up will make your heart sing Holly Holly Oxen Free! And at the chilly cookout, where temperatures will be running, in your easy breezy southwest vest, they'll never see you coming. This year's dead ball was reduced to a Zoom call, leaving this disgruntled attendee to say, COVID tends to ruin the day. When active at the club, lawn tennis or croquet, this clever little cap will tempt your suitors to say, Hey! From working in the garden, to getting vitamin D, to going to the cookout, to watching your TV, the fashion a la mode must abide the strict health code.